Hey everybody, Mr. Love here. Um, another physics problem. We have, uh, in this case, this is actually called an Atwood machine, where we're looking at two blocks that are tied together um, by a, a piece of rope and on a pulley. Uh, both the rope um, and the pulley are massless, so there is um, there's no uh, friction um, and no mass associated with that. And um, So you have two blocks. One is a five kilogram block, and the other is a three kilogram block. And the, uh, the first step in a problem like this is actually drawing the, uh, the diagram again, like normal. Um, we have two blocks, and they're wound over a pulley by a piece of rope. Again, frictionless, massless. One is three kilograms, the other is five kilograms. Um, right off the bat, qualitatively, you should realize that this whole thing is going to uh, move in this direction with the lighter one going up and the heavier one going down. Um, and this problem is a little tricky because you have to solve it uh, with a system of equations. Um, but the, uh, the governing formula for this is F net. Newton's second law is equal to mass times acceleration. So what we have to do is look at sort of the free body diagrams for each of these and then combine them and solve them simultaneously. So another way to, uh, to say this is, is that here we have a, a tension force on the rope, uh, which of course is equal on both sides here. Um, so we can say that the F net is equal to, we'll look at three kilogram block. F tension, which is in the upward direction, minus the weight force of the block, which is in the downward direction. So if we're looking at this right here, um, a free body diagram would have mg and Ft pulling up. And that's equal to the net force on that block. Um, and we know that there's actually acceleration going so another way to, um, to write this, and, uh, direction and convention is very important in a problem like this, is equal to the mass times the acceleration of the block minus the mass times gravity. Um, and when you make some substitutions, F net of that block is 3 times the acceleration of the block minus 3 times... 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, this is for the first block. Um, and we can do the same thing for the second block, uh, knowing again that those forces are the, uh, are the same. In the second, we're going to set them equal. Um, but for the second block, we'll say that 5 times minus acceleration, okay, because this block is going down find the y is positive and up, minus 5 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, And the signs here are key because if you mess the signs up, um, then it doesn't work out. So um, everything going in the up direction needs to be positive. So this here is positive, the 3a is positive. This is minus, right, 3a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, here we have 5, and then that minus acceleration, which is the, the downward acceleration, minus 5 times 9.8 meters per second squared. So what we can do is um, solve for these two parts here and then set them equal. And when you do that, it looks something like this. 3a minus 29.4. equals minus 5a minus 49, and this is kilograms, meters per second squared, the same units for this 29.4. Um, rearrange that algebraically, we're not really rearranging it, but just sort of moving it down, um, you 
get 8a is equal to minus 19.6 kilograms meters second squared. The acceleration is equal to 2.45 meters per second squared. Um, looking at sig figs, we have See, two significant figures, so that's 2.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so what's going to happen here is both of these blocks are going to accelerate at this rate. One is going up, this 3 kilogram one is going up, and this 5 kilogram one is going down, accelerating at this rate, 2.45 meters per second squared. Um, we actually just solved the B part of the equation the A part of the equation asking for the force. And there's multiple ways to do this. Um, I just chose this order. Uh, you can solve for the tension force. Okay. And the tension force is just rearranging this equation right here. And you get Ft is equal to F net plus M G, and so when we start making some substitutions in there, Ft is equal to 3 kilograms times 2.45 newtons, sorry, 2.45 meters per second squared, right, that's what we solve for here, plus the mass again, which is 3 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. So we get, when we solve that, Ft is equal to 36, it's lagging, 36.75 newtons. Um, keeping track of sig figs, um, we have two, so we will call that 37 newtons. And that's the tension force. Again, this problem, the trickiest thing about this problem is the fact that you're solving um, these uh, system of equations and making sure that you're accounting for the actual direction and that you, uh, that you went ahead and um, defined a coordinate plane so that you know what's up and what's down and keeping track of that. Because if you make everything positive or everything negative, um, it doesn't work out. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.